not making that mistake again. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. Sorry if there's a little uh, weird background noise. I have something printing on my uh, on my 3D printer that I didn't think would take 11 hours. So that's how long it's been running now. But the print looks like it's working. Uh, here, go off a little bit. I've been print. I printed a uh, a wall mount for my bike battery and a uh, mount for the charger. So once again, I apologize for uh, that noise. Hopefully, it'll end. I'll run over and stop it. Turn off the printer, rather. When it does. Um, we're back for another episode of Resident Evil HD. Uh, episode 5, I believe. Hopefully, today, we can get done with the underground. And get to the final level. So, hopefully... Next Tuesday, we'll be wrapping this one up. Um, if you haven't yet, I recommend going to my uh, socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and, you know, following to know when I'm going live. Uh, follow for notifications on here as well. But without further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I forgot my recap. Before that, let's recap what happened last time. We returned from the dormitory with the ever-elusive helmet key. We went through and unlocked the last couple doors there. We fought Yawn again. We t finally killed that big-ass snake and avenged our dear, dear fallen comrade, Richard. We, uh... We did some shit in the creepy-ass basement of the mansion. Because apparently this place has caves, a basement, amongst other things. We... We got the battery to use the elevator out in the courtyard, and we stopped the water, and we have entered the caves. A very annoying part of this game. Although, better than it used to be. Tune in Sunday to see how it used to be. But let's, uh, without further ado, let's actually get into it. All right, what do we got in our old inventory? Let's see if I can remember the buttons, more importantly. I'm actually gonna have to adjust something right quick. There we go. Felt like that light was a little bright on my noggin. It's been a, uh, it's been a bit of a day. Um, let's actually dump the shoddy off. And we're gonna take the grenade launcher and some acid rounds. All right, let's go exploring. There's a hexagonal hole here. So we're not gonna be exploring this way because Jill cannot jump across a cavern. So let's go the other way. So you know her socks are wet by now. Like, that'd be the most annoying thing humanly imaginable. I'm actually going to so I noticed, uh, watching my recaps, that my audio was super quiet. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to fix that on the fly. So if anybody has any comments on the audio, feel free to let me know, and I can hopefully try to address them and fix them as we go. But yeah, we're just, we're just gonna continue down this creepy ass cave. That boulder uh, doesn't look ominous. At all. Ooh. A plant. 
So. Is just me or did like everybody get super into plants during the pandemic? Like, I'm not a plant person. I don't really get it. All right, over here we have a thing. We're not gonna actually screw with it yet. But I'm not really a plant person, but it seems like everybody got into them the, like the last two years. But you know, enjoy what you're gonna enjoy, that's fine. Not, not gonna yuck anybody else's yum. But, but I can't say I understand. I don't have to. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Enrico. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? No, I'm not really dating right now. Finished. Someone is a traitor. Oh, oh, you mean Umbrella oh. set us up. Enrico. <laughs> So it's safe to say those aren't uh, Kevlar. Who? I don't know what she. I, I like. I don't know what she's getting at with that. Definitely a professional. They shot a dude who was sitting down. Why am I trying to combine that? But we have the hexagonal crack. Crack, crank. So, let's get on with it. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. I got a feeling there's going to be. Like that. Our dear friends, the Hunters, are back. Those lovely sons of bitches. But, so we're dealing with those again. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep on moving. Come on. I don't know what sound that was supposed to be. It uh wasn't a good one. But we can now go and and uh, navigate that crevasse. After we dump off these handgun bullets. They'll only be in the way. Dango will have a uh, slight return in a little bit. I've spent years trying to think of the mechanics of how that would work, and I've got nothing. I have no idea. It's like, it would be such a large mechanism to turn that much stone. Hmm. Let's see if this goes well for me. A huge boulder blocks the way. Da 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 da. <gasps> That, that breathing was intense there, Jill. But it opened up another way for us to go. So let's skedaddle.
If you're afraid of spiders, look away. But... But this one ain't too bad. You can just kind of miss entirely. There's... Oh, that's not where I want to be. Goody poisoned. So that was Black Tiger. It's a boss. And the biggest issue with it is, which by the way, I think that gunk can hurt you that's coming out of it. I'm not particularly afraid of spiders, but the, the like shuddering is weird. I feel like there should have been ammo or something in there, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Sometimes there isn't any ammo. Although, We get a map now, which is semi-useful for the next three rooms we're gonna be in. And we also get some health items. Now, poison will eventually kill you, but you have some time. It's not like, an immediate, like, imperative that you deal with it. There we go. It's like I never even got attacked by a giant spider. Pardon. But we have yet another little area here. There's not much to this cave. It's really... Another boulder, look, and a... Pit. There's another one of those, huh. You just keep using this, it'll... You'll get a different... You'll see in a sec. But you get a different, uh... You get a different, um... Angle. Now, I bet you something bad's gonna happen the second I get out of this menu. And go. All you gotta do is run forward. It's not hard to avoid this one. Now, we're gonna go see what that boulder was hiding. And it's nothing I'm actually gonna pick up. Don't need it. It's, I got plenty of health. But yeah, you know. If you need it, there's health back there. And now we got puzzle time. Or you can just rotate Jill. But there's another pretty easy puzzle. There's this bit of wall here that doesn't look right. And a statue that is facing the wrong way and a bit that rotates. It's not, it's not rocket surgery. You know, put that there, run across here to something that the fixed camera angles do not work well with. Like, telling exactly where in the wall that is, is difficult. Don't hop out of that menu because you have to retract the wall. It, it's... But we've pretty much used all of what we need the hexagonal crank for. Which... 
from playing this as a child, I thought cranks would be a more prevalent way to do things. They're really not. Which, by the way, you can't run off of that while it's turning you. You're just stuck there. Like it... It locks you in place while you're doing it. Now, on the other side of that, if you keep moving, it doesn't lock you in. Like, or particularly when you're pushing, if you keep moving. Like that. Just push it over and... And then push it to the side. I can't tell if that's quite lined up or not, but we'll figure it out. It's all good. We're going to take a very Bob Ross approach to this. It's not lined up. But there it should be. So, like, the big broad movements, the tank controls aren't that bad. It's the little micro movements that really make the tank controls hard. But we have a part for a thing that we don't know about yet. Or rather, me and anybody who's played this before, we know about it. In general, otherwise you don't. But we're just gonna... Jog on back. All the way back. Yeah, 90% of any Resident Evil game is just backtracking. Ooh. Give me one second. My uh, printer was done, so I wanted to turn it off so we didn't have the fan noise going. Um, but I printed this. It's a little uh, holder for the charger. Wire goes in the bottom. Charger comes out the top with the other line running to my bike battery. So I can hang it up on the wall instead of it just being kind of like in my backpack or elsewhere. Yeah. So that's done with. Let's, uh, let's get back to it. Sorry to... My share is singing the song of its people today. We shouldn't encounter too much resistance heading back. We might encounter a couple uh, new friends to, uh, to tango with, but I don't think there's gonna be too much resistance. Gonna dump off some stuff we don't need. Like a second knife. And a hexagonical crank. Ever read her bear? There we go. Michael can take care of that while we're here. And before we head into the next part, we're gonna save our game. Did any of y'all ever read the uh, S.D. Perry novels? I've been thinking about those a lot lately. Uh, I think I might reread them. I, I know uh, a year or two ago, I bought them all on the uh, Kindle. I had the paperbacks when I was a kid with the cool old covers, not the current modern ones. They're just assets from the game.
but I, I think I might reread them. If I remember, last time I read them, it took me like one day at work to read all, like each book. So I don't think it'll take me long to like burn through them. But we're gonna head to here. We got a thing of dude. An elevator power source. Open the lid and we're given some sort of crankshaft or kind of reminds me of a distributor. But we're gonna combine those and examine. Cylinder shaft. But they have numbers on it. We also saw there were a bunch of buttons, so we're gonna keep turning till the numbers line up. Real simple. It's once again not rocket surgery. But yeah, like it's there we go. And we have four, two, three, one. I actually uh four two three and one. I actually for some reason or not I'm bad with numbers. Not for some reason I'm bad with numbers. But I'm bad with numbers and for some reason. I can always remember that one because it's just from biggest to smallest evens and then odds. Like it's Jill. Barry? Thank God. Barry. You're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect Oh my god, that's Barry like Burton this. fashion icon. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Ah, yes, descending further underground. What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Jill, you go, even though I have the most powerful weapon in this game that isn't a rocket launcher. So, this is very much like a... I'll put it this way, you can do this whole part with no weapons. And it's actually probably better you do. So, Joe and Chris in this game will run slightly faster while unarmed. But if we look at this room, you got a lot of leading down that we're not gonna not gonna really screw with yet. Just want to get those handgun bullets out of the way. And this seems like a shotgun kind of deal. But let's go. I'll stay and secure our escape route. Hmm. He seems trustworthy. We should trust Barry. Well, nope. We're gonna nope, nope, nope. Ooh, free plants though. We see Joe's apartment in a later game. But I'd like to think it's just covered in green herbs. Like green, red, and blue herbs. Like just a million plants, a window box, the whole deal. Like, just covered. So we have a big box here, and it clearly looks like we can push it, so we're just gonna... And then... On to the elevator thing. It definitely looks like you can go to the other side. You can't. There's nothing over there. Like, you can't go past the elevator. It's just a wall. But... 
Bye. This is the meanest item placement in this game. Because there's just crap up here. For reasons. No good ones. And it's useful crap. It's like a stun gun battery. Magnum rounds. Pistol rounds. Because if you're... Pistol rounds are weird. I'd prefer them be like shotgun shells or something, obviously. But like, you really can't see it. In... On can like in the frame that there's anything in there. Huh. Oh, I, I reckon she doesn't want to be friends. That's what I get for being cocky. But there's a switch there. We're gonna we're gonna deal with that later. Let's go complain to Barry that there's a monster. Maybe Barry can help us with the monster. I mean, I trust him. He's a good dude. Barry, Barry you son of a bitch. Yeah, Barry, uh... Barry leaves you for... for Lisa. But we'll dump off all of our crap. Well, all of our crap we don't need. And get a move on. Let's go down this ladder. The direction there isn't a scary monster. But we meet our own friend, the box. Just push it all the way over. It's fine. The pushing uh, puzzles in this game take forever. Like, it is the slowest animation possible. The garbage compactor. Which, I guess this is like the mansion's like garbage depot. But like, once it's compact, like, there really isn't like a take it elsewhere kind of thing. Well, we got broken flamethrower. Which was added from the original and is literally them just reusing another puzzle essentially. Or two puzzles actually. Like take broken weapon, hang it up, unlock stuff. Although the flamethrower is one of those things where it's like Chris just gets screwed out of a weapon because he technically gets a flamethrower, but you get it for like a hot minute and it's useless. And we're just gonna, we're gonna wait here for our, our good friend Lisa, which I watched the, uh, the newer movie. I mentioned it before the coolest part of that movie that a thing that I didn't know I wanted to see was Lisa Trevor fighting a liquor that shit was dope but before we get rid of it let's examine the broken flamethrower the muzzle is broken and can't be fired like I gotta wonder was it broken before it went in the garbage compactor because it looked real broken before the uh, the garbage compactor. But now we're in a creepy place. Filled with creepy shit. Just like in case you forgot, this is a horror game. There's just broken doll bits. A tower of dining room chairs. Some shit hanging up. And more water. 
I imagine the only thing worse. Yeah, just keep running. Those snakes can't really get you. Like once you get past them. I imagine the only thing worse than being trapped in this perpetual group of horror or place of horror is having to do this with wet clothing. Like nothing demoralizes me more than having wet clothing. It's the worst. Uh, family photos. I thought there was supposed to be a note here, but maybe I'm mistaken. Those snakes can't get out of the water. I guess they don't like have an animation to do it or something. Something simple like that, but Let's examine this box we got. The jewelry box. It's the same one from the last three times, but we got the stone ring. A family picture and notes. It very much, this picture very much reminds me of uh, one of the pictures you find in Seven of the Baker family. Pardon me. Where it just looks like them. Although, getting a closer look at it, like, it's a weird looking photo. Like, nobody in it looks quite right. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica, administered virus type A. I'm not gonna try it, plasma anxiety, as I do my best, Professor Frank. Of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa, administered type B. Once again, I'm not even gonna try it. Of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive, but delayed fusion. Body, mod body modification. Observed consistent results, or constant results. Added syllables. Status continue protective observation. Zors, action terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by somebody. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. Got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she can't, doesn't go away. Cause mom's sad when I meet her without face. 19, November 17th, 197. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Once again, this game kind of has a bad habit of giving you information too early versus when you'll actually have to deal with it. Like, like I know what that means, but we haven't gotten there yet. We will shortly, but like, still like not a thing we know about yet. And I guess somebody at some point got caught by those snakes because they give you a blue herb here. I think that should be everything. I keep feeling like I missed it. Yeah, okay, we got everything. But let's continue on into more cave shit. I'm sure this isn't going to lead anywhere bad. It's going to be bad, isn't it? Oh. We're back in the old creepy cabin. But we got some new toys. So we're, let's, uh, let's go ahead and combine those because we'll need them momentarily. But don't worry, this is just our, uh, 
Ooh, and I'm hurt. I should. This is one of the problems with like grabbing everything in the game for the most part. You kind of end up with like an item box that's just all over the place. Ooh, actually, and we're going to save real quick. We're going to record our progress. Like a very reasonable person. I've also decided I'm going to try to fix that since we're at the end of the game. The weird tiered saves I did where they don't make sense anymore. Uh, we don't need anything else, but we are going to need to equip that, of course. Yeah. Actually, we probably have enough shotgun shells to get us through to the... Through the rest of the zombies in the game. But, back outside. But don't worry, Joe's caving adventure is not quite over yet. And don't get caught by this zombie. You just run around him. Like, I don't... I made the mistake once of killing him. And then I got to this part of the game. And, uh... He came back. Come on, dude. Come on, mostly weirdly naked zombie. But yeah, no crows out here this time, at least. Crows are more annoying than anything. Like, they're not bad to deal with. They're just annoying. But let's keep on trucking. Back up past the uh, dogs and the weather vanes and all that. Seeing the mansion in the distance. This is actually something I really like about this game where you now have to backtrack all the way to the first screen of the game. Which isn't as hard if you do this, like, if you remember there's a certain path here. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Wet the old whistle. But yeah, the easiest way to do this is just go through the crow room. I feel like most... <clears throat> I feel like most people kind of forget that's here. I don't know. I always found it just to be the easiest way to backtrack here. But we... Get right back into the main hall, real easy. And we just go ahead and place these two, uh, these two, uh, objects we have right here, and it opens up the last locked door in the mansion other than those two but to be fair that one is blocked off because it's a shotgun uh trap and that one we just locked by removing the stone and uh metal object and that one's broken okay it's not the last locked door but the only door we haven't been on both sides of. And it sounds just inviting.
but we have we're given a we're given a save spot we're given a save spot but no ink ribbon you'd think they had an ink ribbon here but we're gonna save real quick because what's coming up next can be bad and I don't feel like running all the way from the cabin a bunch of times but we are about to have a boss fight now this isn't a boss fight where you really need dungeon ammo and weapons and whatnot you need to just know what to do and a little bit go we got what we were supposed to do so I'm just doing some quick organization here but we got a good indication of what we were supposed to do So I want to make sure I have a full heal, like, ready to go, because it's possible I'll have to use the one I have. Pardon me. The old, uh, acid reflux is acting up today, and, uh... Whew. But that's what you get. That's what you get when you eat, like, crap. I've been, uh... I've been resistant to go to the supermarket this week. <laughs> Jill. Barry, you son of a alive. bitch. I was worried because I thought you were. Now. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Jill might be mad. A little mad. This is a very important decision in this game. You can give Gary, Gary, you can give Barry back his gun or not. And this will, this is one of the criteria for deciding the ending you get. I'm going for good ending, so I'm, I know what choice I'm making already. But there, that doesn't mean you're in the clear. Like there are still two events that can happen that can push you from good ending to bad ending or good ending to neutral ending or to mid ending not neutral like so we're gonna give give Barry back his gun thanks Jim which can we all really appreciate that Barry like or that Jill took Barry's gun with a fucking quickness. Like, Jill was not interested in, like, Barry's bullshit. And while Barry's gun is one of the most While Barry's gun is one of the most powerful guns in the game, or the most powerful gun in the game, there's only six bullets for it. It's not really worth using. Sort of like the self-defense gun. It goes from being a powerful weapon to a burden. But let's go talk to Barry, see what he says. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Not really worth much of anything, that old comment. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. 
Wait, there's something else. We're reading a family picture. It's a letter to my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, mommy can think straight. But mommy shocked and sad. What? Mommy shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into, into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold you, so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious. And when that man in white coat is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. I have found no less than, like seven versions of that picture when y'all when y'all are taken prisoner in a bizarre creepy ass puzzle mansion how many family pictures y'all take but I digress now we have another puzzle and we're officially out of the caves which whew but I grabbed those two books if anybody was paying attention and I tried to combine them it didn't work but those two books are Eagle of the South Wolf of the North and they have a thing on the back but if you open them they're a little hidey hole they have the medals in them you have the wolf and the eagle medal Put the wolf in there. Run over yonder. Same deal, just open the book. But we have the eagle medal now. And more pre-rendered cutscene. Out of how great everything else in this game looks, all of like the super pre-rendered cutscenes other than the very first one and the very last one look like absolute trash. But as if we weren't underground enough all day, we're gonna keep on going underground. But now we're in the lab. Emergency exit will not open unless in first not open in unless in first class emergency. The wording of that threw me off. Okay. You can't read the other signs. But that's that's the uh towards the end game. Which we're in the last little level of. Which I am torn about. So we're actually a little under. We're about 10 minutes shy. But I do think we're going to call it there because this is a section of the game. There's maybe about an hour left. So. I think that's about it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out. Thanks for coming. 
um, tune in Sunday. We're going to go do the second half of the original, or the director's cut of the original, um, as Jill. And I reckon tune in Tuesday for the finale of the first half of Resident Evil. Um, it's been fun. I hope y'all have enjoyed this in some measure. Um, take it easy. Have a good night.